Now once again we have just a typical document in front of us and I'm going to go into the header section and remember how do I do that? I go up to the top of my document, you can see this section over here and when I double click on it, it activates and opens that header section for me. Now I want to insert information into my header but using fields. So this is my header and footer section and when I look to the left of my ribbon, I see there's a group that says insert. In other words, we can use this grouping to insert various types of information into our header or footer. So you can see I can insert the date and time. I can insert various pieces of document info. And you can see there is what I'm looking for. We can insert a field and I can also use quick parts to insert uh, a field of information as well. So I'm going to on the left, I'm going to go document info. Then I'm going to go field. Now look at what it asks me. What do I want? to insert into this field. In other words, what, do, what am I looking to you know, type in here? Um, let's say I'm going to put in the date and time. And does this look familiar? Well, it should. Okay, field names, what do I want? Let's say I just want the date and I want that sort of layout. Again, guys, if you want to customize this, you can go and change what this day, month, year um, looks like over here until you have exactly what you want. And I'm going to click OK. All right, that's going to update automatically for me as well. So now I'm going to go to quick parts and I'm going to use field and you'll see exactly the same thing comes up. So it doesn't really matter which one you use for this. Let's say I'm now going to go to document information and I want the file name. Do I want it uppercase, lowercase, first capital? Maybe that's fine. And I want to add the, the uh, path to the file name. I'm going to click OK. And there you can see is the name of my file plus the path that leads all the way to that particular file. So this is how I am then inserting information into my header using fields.